Hey guys, welcome to another Lunch Time Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Creations brand. Uh, this is the Combination Pizza, Microwaveable Pizza. It is a 7.2 ounce meal or, 400, or 204 grams. Um, combination, it looks like it has uh, some meat and I don't know what it has. Onion, onions? I don't, I don't know what it has. Uh, anyway, we bought these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so I don't fits that at all. And it really doesn't say what they what, what a combination is. Usually it has peppers and stuff on it, but I didn't see peppers. Um, so one pizza is 510 calories, so if you eat the whole thing, there's your other information for you. So you can do these in a regular oven if you want. There's the directions if you want to do the oven. Of course, we don't do ovens. We do microwaves. So we're going to do the microwave directions. So we're going to remove the pizza from the carton and wrapper. Place pizza on a microwave-safe plate. I just got a paper plate. Uh, microwave one pizza on high for three minutes. And until the cheese is melting, you may have to add more time if it's not. And then let it stand for two minutes. I have done a couple of these now, and I know the time is... I've got the time pretty well adjusted for my microwave. Uh, 240 uh, tends to work really well for these. So that's what I'm going to do now is 240. So there it is. It looks like it, maybe those are red peppers, maybe? I can't, I can't really tell. We'll be able to tell once it's heated up. But I'm going to take the plastic off this, uh, put it on this paper plate, and get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Hey, right, here it is out of the microwave, and um, i got a pizza cutter here. Usually you have to go around and uh, unstick it from the edges. And uh, you can see it's kind of, the crust is kind of soft and bendy. So I'm going to let it set for, it's already just came out. So I usually go around and just um, break this away from the edge. And then I want you to let it set for two minutes. So I'm going to let it set for two minutes, and then I'm going to cut it, and then we'll try it out. So I'll be back. When it cools off. All right, I gave it to two minutes and um, I cut it. Just cut it. I cut it into fourths just to make it easier to eat. Um, if you had a knife or something, it cuts pretty easily. Uh, the crust is not um, crisp, so it's kind of uh, um, just there. I'm curious what these little red things are. Yeah, they're pepperoni. And the meat, it looks like ground beef or pepperoni. I think it's ground beef. Yeah, so I guess that's what it is. It's ground beef and pepperoni. So, or sausage and pepperoni. We'll see. So here we go. Crust is very soft, not having it in the oven. So if you do it in the oven, it's gonna crisp it up. So definitely the oven is the best way to do it. But most places where you work don't, where you're eating lunch, don't have ovens. So you're gonna be heating this in the microwave. Um, so the texture is not bad for the microwave thing. I think I've said this in the other videos. I don't know why they don't give you the little the little crisping tray, the little uh, silvery kind of pla uh, paper tray where you can lay it on top of and it heats up and crisps the bottom up just a little bit. It could be that it adds more money because um, these are only a dollar. So uh, that could add a cost to it that, that would push it over a dollar. But uh, I, I think the flavors are good. It's just the texture is a little soft. It's not wet. It's just soft. I actually like the flavors quite a bit. The um, the pepperoni has a little spice to it. I'm pretty sure that is ground beef. That's what it seems like, just hamburger. Because it doesn't have any sausagey flavor then again. I don't know, it's really hard to tell. It doesn't seem like it has spice in it, but the flavors are good, the sauce is good. It's not a... Uh, it's a little bit on the sweeter side, but it's got some good savory spices in it. So I do like that. And the mix of the pepperoni and stuff really go good together. Um, if I had to complain, it's going to be about just the crust being a little soft, but it's microwave. So I'm not going to complain too much. I'm not going to knock it too bad for that. Um, this is probably my favorite one of the ones I've tried so far. The, um, the flavor is good. The textures, like I said, are pretty good. So I'm actually going to give this one a four. I do like this one quite a bit. Um, I would eat this one over and over again. Um, for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, you can't beat it. I think it's definitely worth a dollar. So, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, and um, I'll give it a four out of five, and I'll catch you next time. I want to do a really quick follow-up. Um, stupid me, didn't think to look, but I looked at the ingredients on the back, and it says Italian sausage pizza topping. So that's what it is, pepperoni. Um, and mozzarella cheese blend sauce in the crust. So, <coughs> it is Italian sausage. Like I said, it's really hard to tell because they're really fine. They're small pieces, so it's really hard to tell. Um, I thought it had a little bit of seasoning in there, but I really, really wasn't a strong seasoning. So it has um, either taste in oregano or basil in there. I can't tell what it is. But anyway, it is good. 
I'm still going to give it a four. I just want to tell you that it wasn't just ground beef. It is actually Italian sausage. So anyway, catch you next time.